now i am going to give you the short introduction on how to make the circuit on fridging so let me share my screen everyone my screen is visible hello yes yes your screen is visible okay this is the fridging software in which we can make the circuit for that uh, the link is here in the description and you you can download the fridging software from there and run just share the link okay you can access this software from this drive and we have uh, the stocks also and uh, just you can download it from here and after installing the fridging software you will get something inter the starting interface will be like this and what you have to do you have to go in the breadboard and uh, just uh, you have to install import the raspberry pi over here how to import the raspberry pi just you if you click here then you'll get the import you have to click on import and uh, as from drive you have already downloaded the, the raspberry pi then you have to click our raspberry pi open and it can be imported as i have already imported the raspberry pi so it is not being imported right now and after importing what you have to which uh, stuffs you have uh, imported you can find it here now what you have to take you have to take raspberry pi from here and uh, After having the Raspberry Pi, uh, we can uh, connect any of the stuffs over here. Just for example, first of all, I am connecting the servo motor. Okay. And this is so interesting. Just you can make any of the circuit diagram in this Fridgen software. So let's learn something over here. What you have to do, you have to find the ground pins, which are the ground pin. In I think this third number pin is the ground pin. You can connect it over here and for this and you can connect other pins like this okay and you can change the color by just uh, clicking the right uh, by pressing the right click and you can change color to the red black whatever you want okay and now sorry Suppose again, you have to change if you have to change the wire of uh, color of this wire, then you can change it from here. Okay, so this is the small socket diagram for the servo motor. In this way, we can connect any other stops like LED. Let me connect uh, a, an LED to you, just you can delete your stops from here. And uh, if we have to connect the LED, then just put your LED to the grid board. And as we have uh, discussed earlier, we have to connect the register. Okay. And one thing in mind, if you have to rotate this register, then you can rotate it from here. You can give the 90 degree rotation and just connect it to here. And we have to connect the register in the negative terminal. And then what we can do, just we can connect the negative terminal of the Raspberry Pi, the ground terminal of the Raspberry Pi like that okay and you can change the color again wire color to black as it is brown and you can connect or any of the digital pins to the positive terminal of uh, of the raspberry pi uh, to the gpio pin of the raspberry pi again you can change the color to red okay so this is the circuit diagram for your led as we have discussed this uh, earlier in the previous sessions also and now uh, we are going to connect our Bluetooth model with the Raspberry Pi. For that, we are again going to delete our stuff over here. And you can delete it. Suppose, and now you have to. Okay. Here is the Bluetooth module and uh, what to, how to connect the Bluetooth module with the Raspberry Pi. As we have discussed earlier uh, in previous session, there was some uh, RX and TX pin in the this board, Raspberry Pi board. Then what we have to do, we have to just connect, uh, rotate it uh, by giving 90 degree rotation. Then uh, there are total six pin, but uh, the state pin and key pin is not used here. Okay. What you have to do, you have to connect the VCC with the VCC positive terminal of the Raspberry Pi and ground with the ground. 
let me connect. I'm not able to recall which are the ground pin here is not written. So I am connecting randomly, okay? Because I am not able to get uh, which pin over, is over here, okay? Suppose uh, this is the VCC pin, okay? I have connected it to it. And you have to connect the ground pin to the ground. And you can change the color like that. Uh, this way. Uh, there are lots of stops available over here. You can use capacitor, register, display, all the things. If you do not have Raspberry Pi with, in your home, then you can try circuit making from here. And the, uh, to just uh, to make a robot, the first thing is that the circuit circuit making then is programming. If you know this uh, both stuff, then you, you can easily starting making your first project. Then by the advancement, you can make uh, bigger projects. For that, what you have to do, you have to start with the LED blinking. Just uh, do the LED blinking project uh, in the circuit in the fridging. Then just do the advanced level project. And if you are comfortable in that, then you can uh, do the project in uh, real by just buying the Raspberry Pi and do your uh, do your project over there. Thank you. And now I'm stopping sharing. Okay. This was the short uh, introduction on how to make the circuit. Do you have any question regarding this? Anyone? <laughs>